I'm not gonna get hit. I'm not gonna get hit by this car. I'm Cowabunga dudes, it's other turtle euphemisms and sayings. Dude, I could be gaming. And logos and all of that good stuff. This is TMT Shredder's Revenge Dimension Shell Shock. There's the survival mode, which is the big new thing, but I think I think we should try out one of the two new characters. Select your hero. I'll select my hero Leonardo. I can do it. So we got him, we got those guys who is a splinter that's cool. Yo! Let's go, buddy boy! He's the coolest and cutest. I never I never thought we'd actually see Usagi in this game. I just thought the re the rights would be tied up with uh, Stan Sakai uh, for, for too long. Super happy, though. So Big Apple, 3 p.m. I know what you're thinking. Why are you, why are you doing that? Because I like it a little bit uh, better than level one. So we're going to see what Usagi can do. I believe he can do like a true double jump. Can't believe he was voiced by John Cena and uh, Mutant Mayhem. Oh shit! Oh, uh, 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 oh! <laughs> this is just going. What the hell was that? I can't believe he was not in Team NT uh, Tournament uh, Fighters uh, for any version. You'd think he'd be a, a shoe in. I guess the thought is, it's like, oh well. Oh god, that's such a sick attack now. I see the utility of it. Uh, since he has a katana, it's like, oh, well, Leo has a katana. Yeah, but he has two katanas. Leo wouldn't know what to do with one katana if someone hit... Oh. I think I remember uh, Yusagi's first appearance in the cartoon. He appeared briefly. I read some comics, but it's just like this hero that is just so mysterious. Like, you know, like he's not overexposed, in my view. Maybe there's big Yusagi fans that are like, oh, no, he's, he's out there all the time. No, I think he has like a mystique to him still. Like, did he appear in any other uh, cartoon, for example? I don't think he did, but I'm probably wrong. I'm sure some editors like put in a clip of him from like the 2012 cartoon. But yeah, it seems like a high juggling potential uh, character, which I, I, I feel like the main cast I think Leo had a good uh, move in the air. I think like the main turtle cast wasn't like super high. Like everyone could juggle a little bit, but I feel like that's kind of Usagi's deal here so far. I'm not gonna get hit. I'm not gonna get hit by this car. Gonna... Anyway, <laughs> I, I I have to stay on point here. Um, this so far using him he seems just to have a lot of utility, like a lot of range, decent damage. I think his stats kind of showed him as being pretty in the middle there. I think quickness, he was quite fast. Wow! Uh, that backswing off the, the rising attack looks super sick. Don't fall down there. I would think you saw you would not know what to, that's why he called it a cave, I guess. He has no idea what the fuck that is. He's a sewer? That's gross. You guys live like this? Since I just started this up, I don't have my um, uh, midair slash uh, super move, I should say. And certainly not my dashing one. Oh, 53 hits. I thought in my head Yusagi Yojimbo is from like feudal Japan. Like originally or like forever. I don't. I kind of don't know his backstory, which is fine. I don't want to know it. Keep his mystique. But all this shit that he's seen, trucks and whatnot, he has no... Wait, no, if this is the 1987 version of him, then I'm sure he's seen this stuff before. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, Rocksteady, you have nothing. You've got nothing. Oh my god, look at the damage. Like, one more combo string, that should be it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ow, I wanted to finish him off with the super, but yeah. Rising attack, I'll take. <gasps> Look at that! He's so cool! And cute, don't forget cute. He looks very fuzzy and fluffy. That's why we love him. Survival mode is very much akin to the, the uh, survival mode in Streets of Rage 4, so I'm excited to get this go. Grab shards, complete dimensional crystals, fight the master of the void after collecting five dimensional crystals, conquer the leaderboards by traveling deeper and deeper. So, master of the void. 
I'm not even sure who that be pertaining to, but let's go for Karai here, I think. So power, she's really good there. And I'm excited to use Karai. Um, I think she's going to be pretty different from Usagi, but I'm excited because there's so many animations. I can't see the piece. The neutrinos, fellas, they were in pan-dimensional trouble. See these crystals? We're using the zap across dimensions. That silvery square shredder is grabbing all of them. Oh, so it's shredder again. If we don't stop that tin-plated tyrant, it's gonna be Badsville. Say no more, Kayla. Fighting shredders is what us turtles do. Mirage. Oh my God. Yes, I've seen screenshots of this on Tribute Games' Twitter. The Mirage. What? That's a pit? That's actually that sucks, but that 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 also is kind of pretty sick. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What does she have? Just random sword slash? Okay. All right, that's a pretty good throw. I cannot, I cannot go over this. So I have to literally jump over this. That's super neat. So yeah, that's a sick super. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, all right. So here's our choice. 10 shards or the infinite uh, pizza. I think, I think that's pretty easy since so we want to get 50 shards for silver. Oh my god, I don't even remember these hammer guys from the main... Fuck! I was about to say, I don't even remember these hammer guys from the main game. Maybe I just forgot? Maybe they're in the later levels? I do think I've seen in screenshots some, um, some new foot soldiers. Because that's not too bad of a thing to make. Uh, for an extra mode. Shit. Yeah, Karai's definitely slower in attacking than, than Usagi. Uh, awesome. Dun, 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 oh, oops. Oh, I was too close to that. Whatever. 20 shards, I'll take it. 15? I didn't quite see. Oh my god, there's Mondo Gecko and the... The... Giraffe, I barely remember. So, I think the based on the color of the portal that you go into is going to determine how hard that, that uh, page or screen is going to be. Because two things of foot soldiers, then suddenly uh, rock soldiers, and falling shit from the sky, and Triceratons! <laughs> I'll never stop thinking about what bullshit it was that a Triceraton was on the cover of uh, the Manhattan Project on NES and was nowhere in the game. Mutagen with... I'll get more, go for more shards, I don't know what that was. Would have been nice if there was a guide screen that would show all the power-ups are, but at the same time it's pretty fun to experiment. I am almost dead. God, the bomb now once too? Terrorist foot Oh! Oh my god, Izuna drops. I should have actually probably practiced with her in a single player mode. Because the whole th thing of this survival mode is that there's, there's no difficulty settings on it. It's just based on what you pick. I like of all the foot soldier uh, shadows, they're fucking scared. Oh wait, this is the mutagen that can actually turn you into people. I think. Oh, I got the crystal, I got the crystal. Sick. Challenge increased. Okay. Matayoshi and his favorite... Okay, don't say mice, don't say mice. Rats! Oh shit! Yeah, Shredder had a few, very few animations for his attacks in the main game, so... I'm glad they have that. Like people like Bebop and Rocksteady, which I, I I've seen that you can turn into as well. Don't I'd imagine don't have as much. Oh my god, that's pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, Lightning Pressure from again Tournament Fighters. Sorry, I'm referencing Tournament for Oh, so he took he had his own health bar. That's how that works. Okay, <laughs> Mousers, please stop. Not mousers. Jeez, I even forget what these guys are called. Annoying bots. I need help. Uh, uh, sushi? What does this do? A sushi plate appears for every 10 successful combo hits. Delicious. Last three rounds. Okay. So as long as I don't get hit instantly. I'm gonna get hit instantly, aren't I? Uh, 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 uh. No! Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's it, huh? That's it. You get sent back. Oh, so yeah, let's actually go back to Usagi now. I think I think I got a better handle of him. What colors does he have though, palettes? 
orange. I'll take the Game Boy one. So that's another thing. You can get like a lot more color palettes. You unlock them through this mode. I saw you can get like color palettes that make you look like you're from the NES Turtle games. It, it, they they look really authentic actually. It just it's not like changing the pixel art with like a filter or something. It's just like having the colors be a little bit more basic and and overlapping. Not so much a dark outline on them that makes them feel more NES like. I don't know if we'll will possibly unlock that. But already feeling better about using Usagi. He's got colored leaves though. Uh pizzas. Yeah, we want we want more shards. You're definitely gonna be hopping in Dimension X and there's five. There's five crystals. So Mirage, Edo, uh Dimension X or where the neutrinos are from, wherever. What is this? Damage received is doubled shit, but you fully heal once perk is over. It lasts three rounds. That's not... I should not have taken this. Oh! Toka! My favorite. It's like a uh, bottom shelf slash, but I still love him. He's a baby! <laughs> so this isn't too bad from just fighting two bosses. Uh, cause, I don't know, they're not super hard and, and Usagi is pretty good. Uh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! I forget that giraffe guy's name, no one remembers his name. I don't care even if you remember his name. So yeah, one was blue, one was purple. I imagine this is tougher, let's see what, based on what enemies are here. So Shredder's outfitting, designing, whatever foot soldiers yeah and he's like and these guys will have guns that shoot plungers this is the most ancient of ninjutsu Ooh, yeah we're eating pretty well as as tmnt fans uh for video games there's still like some things i wish we could play again uh, I really wouldn't mind. I talked about in the uh, Team NT GBA game. it would be cool to get at least some of the Ubisoft ones because, I don't know, Ubisoft and Konami put together. Not, not that that's ever going to be possible. Um, or the Raw Thrills arcade game, which is weird now because it's the 2012 CGI Turtles, but it is what it is. Jeez, look at this fucking dude. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that feels good. Comboing with this samurai bunny, uh, Ronin bunny, feels super amazing. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way to do it. Oh, I didn't even realize they split apart into mousers. Did, were, were four mousers piloting that guy? Uh, I just need 10 shards. Oh, I need to go for the 10. So yeah, this should just be foot soldiers. Or, or wherever we're going will be a light encounter. I think that that's how it works. Oh my God, Hothead. I don't know if that's his canon name. I think it's like his action figure name, but it's not that. It's like Dragon Warrior or something. This is such a Dimension X neutrino plot. Oh, there's some crazy crystals that allow us. Yeah, 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 that sounds fine. We'll, we'll help you. Ooh, Rocksteady or yeah, we haven't seen him yet, so. Oh, my, that's the dog guy that I was talking about in the GBA video. Has there been a dog, a, like Ninja Turtle villain or character? A dog. Like maybe there's been a wolf. I don't know about a dog though. It seems too pedestrian. Everyone's like, what dog guy are you talking about? Like this dude with the metal uh, Winter Soldier arms. And then there's Ninjara, hot as fuck. Okay, so, oh, oh, I have that. I have the grenades, good. But I just have this kit. Kicked their asses though. Kicked all those toitles. Uh, I'm full on health for me, Rox. I have 119 hits there. So I have a smaller life bar. So it basically extends my life bar for a bit and then I'll uh, uh, switch back to Usagi, I assume. Sorry, Foot Clan. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> it's like I'm being possessed by the ghost of a Ronin bunny. This is taking a while, but I'm doing it. Should, might as well collect all these rando shards that are showing up. I need 60, so it's gonna increase each time. I didn't notice that last, uh, as cry. Oh my god, so 10 each time? Uh, that's a weird buff again. Let's go for the health. Keep it going as rock steady. Keeping it, 
rock steady all the time. Everyone's like, are you crazy, Matt? What dog are you talking about? Like this dude, I do not remember his name. What a pull. I don't think he's ever been in a TMNT game, the, the, that dude. Whatever his name is. Awesome. All right, did take a single hit there. Uh, yeah. Let's go for shards. That'll almost get us there. Ugh, only missing four. Hopefully uh, somebody drops a few. We can just collect it that way. Oh my God. I don't think these, well, maybe, maybe foot do. Oh, there's one, there's one. Green shards though, I'm a little afraid I'm gonna be missing them because they're gonna sort of blend into the background. Only one, damn it. Ooh, Bebop. Mm, no. We, we, I'll, I'm sure I'll see Bebop later. Yeah, second gem already. Nice, nice. I keep saying gem. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 <laughs> they're crystals. Omni Channel 6. Oh my god, it's that weird cow. Who the hell is that? Oh my god, I just, I just got so distracted. <laughs> That's such unlocking a core memory. I think he was in, didn't the, oh, didn't the mighty mutimals, mut mutanimals, didn't they travel in his mouth? Some shit like that. Oh Christ, it's been a long time since I thought about that. Uh, 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 yeah. I don't know what the other thing is. I'm too scared it might be something negative. Oh, don't distract me with the cow again. Okay, this is just the infinite for limited time uh, supers. But I'd rather have the smashy, the smashy one. That's the one that says, the pizza box that says POW. I have to remember that. I kind of mixed the, those two up. Okay, was able to do that. Need help badly. Give this bunny a fucking carrot and or pizza. As long as it's not a croissant. Now, would the turtles be in croissants? I don't, why is there a golden turtle? Like, is that metal head? Ninjara is about as obscure as I'll go. Cause like, I did I watch every single um, uh, episode of the, 80, the 87 cartoon? Like, was I watching the Red Sky seasons? I was not. Ugh, I don't know what that is. So there's lots of characters I don't like remember. Was that what's that scum guy? That cockroach man that replaced Shredder? I always forget his name. You bring that fucker out, I'll be like, no, absolutely not. You guys are insane. All right, that uh, that actually wasn't all that great. Uh, unless I only have to fight these last two. Oh god, the white sword ones are the toughest of them all. Oh. It is done. All right, that wasn't too bad. No, no, we'll, we'll see what this is. Activates radical mode and keeps it active until being hit. Radical, totally rad. Radical! Okay, he's radical. I'm gonna get hit by so much shit already. I've just been hit. Triceratons with shields, some floating orblet and foot soldiers. In the regular beat em up levels, uh, the main story, not too bad at all. This though. Okay, now I have to go back for health again. I squandered everything. Okay, well, uh, just, yeah, Bebop, we can see him. At least this will give me some extra health for a little bit. What a great idea. You can reuse some boss sprites. I wonder if to shit, what a beast, damn! Blah, blah. So one of my like few small criticisms uh, from Mutant Melee, I'm uh, Mutant Melee. <laughs> That's one of the games. Uh, Mutant Mayhem is that I absolutely think Seth Rogen should have had a voice role in it. He produced the movie and and I think co-wrote it. Absolutely should have had a voice role in it. Not as Bebop. Terribly miscast as Bebop. Somebody else. Like, I think he would have been better as Mondo Gecko. Was Paul Rudd Mondo Gecko? I forget now. But there was definitely a role for him there, just not just not Bebop. It was just so distracting. Because Bebop's voice is kind of a, you know, Bebop and Rocksteady. They're very distinctive voices. Oh, that's just it! Damn! Okay, I was, sorry, I was too busy thinking about Seth Rogen! Level up, extra HP point, extra ninja power bar added. Ooh, and a pallet. Yo, this is sick that you unlock all this stuff the farther you get. Dimension X sure is fun. All right, so that is TMNT, Shredder's Revenge, the Dimension Shell Shock DLC. Uh, by the time you've seen this, this is uh, should be available for all consoles and uh, even you know, PC as well. 
Uh, for anyone that owns Shredder's Revenge, I think this is an absolute must get. That mode's really fun. Like they proved uh, .mu, even though they're the publishers, uh, them having big success with the Streets of Rage 4 DLC. Uh, it, it stands to reason why they would try that again and suggest to Tribute Games maybe for putting that in. Or maybe Tribute Games saw it themselves. But Felicitacion Mega, you guys are always killing it.